Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the lead time. In this video, we will talk about calendula, how to make a calendula hydrosol and even its essential oil. Many people may not heard about calendula essential oil, but actually calendula does contain essential oil, even it's very, very low. From a one kilogram of the calendula flower, you may make less than one milliliter, less than 20 drops of essential oil. Besides the calendula flower, you may also use the calendula leaf to extract the calendula essential oil and the hydrosol. And in this video, I will also briefly introduce the benefits of a calendula flower and the leaf and how to use them. And at the end of the video, I will demonstrate you how to distill the calendula flower to make its hydrosol and essential oil. Calendula has a long history being used as a medicinal herb and it has um, many pharmaceutical benefits. I have uh, two videos in my channel talking about using calendula infused oil to help treat uh, rash, eczema, and help recover of the skin from radiotherapy. Both of them work very well. Medical research, they prove the calendula flower and the leaf, they have a good antibacterial performance. Both of the fresh calendula flower and the leaf, and even its root, and the dry parts, they both have a good antibacterial properties. So comparatively, the flower and the leaf has a better antibacterial performance compared with its roots. That's why we normally use its flower or the leaves. The other study proved the calendula hydrosol and essential oil, they both have a good antibacteria and anti-inflammation performance. These lead them go into the application of the cosmetics. So when we are using the calendula for distillation, you can either use its a fresh flower or leaf, or use its a dry flower or leaf. So in this video, I'm going to use the dry calendula flower. It is widely available online vendors, or if you grow your own calendula plants, you can just pick up their flower with leaves and you can either dry them with time. If you don't have enough in the beginning, you can dry them and then continually collecting your flower on the leaf until you have enough material to do the distillation. So now I'm going to demonstrate you how to do the distillation with LT3G. That's the 12 liter or three gallon lead time distiller. And I'm using, as I said, using the dry flower. I'm going to do a actual preparation with the dry flower. So I soak it in the water for overnight. And the next day I'm pouring the herb with water onto the herb bucket. So the water will strain out to the bottom the flour left on the bucket so to do the steam distillation. You don't need to squeeze it, just a scratch around and a make a flat. That's good enough. The lead time three gallon distiller has a um, temperature gauge on top of the lid, so it can help you to tell it's getting close to the boiling, then your the distillate will coming out. Every time when you use the circulation cooling, make sure you uh, turn on the circulation first. Check your water flow all correct, no overflow in the condenser and it's a consistent flow. This is very important. Calendula has a very low 
essential oil uh, the yield um, from one kilogram you may get about 0.9 milliliter however you know from just one bag of the dry calendula flower already see the oil is showing up on the top it's not in the layer yet but uh, you can see the color is a bit of white color on top a little bit of bubbling on top those are the oil we are, are collecting and I expect they're getting more with time because this is just the first cup this is like a uh, 16 ounce the hydrosol so far I collected a one and a half liter about 48 ounce of the hydrosol and you can see clearly there is a layer of uh, the calendula essential oil floating on top of the hydrosol in the separator. It's pretty normal because the calendula has a very low essential oil content. I'm going to stop the distillation. So the fresh made uh, calendula hydrosol and essential oil can be used to make a, a full calendula lotion mix with the calendula infused oil this give you a full benefits of antibacteria anti-inflammation it's very good for the sensitive skin to treat a rash eczema and it works very well for the the radiotherapy as well thank you for watching hopefully you learned something today please leave your questions and comments down below this is dr leo at the lead time See you next time.